Today on the Point Blank Performance YouTube channel, I've got the one build I've been wanting to dyno on the Mustang Dyno. What is it? A 21 Dodge Cummins, a fifth gen. The recipe, the internet says, will make 1000 HP. Well guys, if you want to know what it took on our dyno to make that, check out that video here. An 88 millimeter turbocharger on our 12 model truck. Now, this, the GI Green. I call this thing the Hulk. I've driven it. It's bad ass. But guys, we're ready to turn it up to tune five and let this thing eat. What's behind the build? Well, it's got a second gen swap, a S472, the billet forced induction with an 87 turbine. That thing will make some power. For fueling, it does have a set of 100 over injectors. For high pressure fuel, we have a 12 millimeter CP3 pump. So we got high pressure fuel, we got the air, we got the injectors, we've got the recipe, but there's one thing standing our way. What does a truck actually put down on the Mustang Dyno? I don't need to do a baby pull. I've got my RPM window set. I'm ready to go all in. Guys, it's Dyno time. So the Hulk is cooling down. We just made our first pull. What do we end up making on horsepower and torque? 546 rural horsepower and 911 feet pound of torque. Now for starters, I don't hop in the truck and go boom, 2200, 3300 RPMs. We made a short pull, so therefore I can test the waters of where we're gonna run this truck on RPMs. It likes it, but now we really need to get that turbocharger working. We need to get some horsepower out of it. We need to get some torque. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hop back in the truck, same file, and we're gonna lengthen our RPM window. When I lengthen the RPM, start it sooner, I'll put it under a load, and guess what? The charger will work harder. Now we wanna see this thing break into the next digit. Let's make a pull. So the Hulk just made its second pull. We're making some bounds, but we're not making leaps and bounds. I wanna see this truck get over that 700 rural horsepower range with the amount of fuel that we're throwing it. Take a look at the graph. We made 656 rural horsepower and 1127 feet pound of torque. You guys always wanna see torque on the channel. I'm running this truck legit. I want to see what it can do, so does the customer. So let's see how I actually ran the truck. Did I start down low or did I get a little shy with it? No, sir. We started this truck all the way at 2200 RPMs and ran it all the way out here to 3100. I'm loading it up. I'm giving it a chance to make power. Just that damn dyno 
does not spare one pony. So, I've reviewed the EFI live data. I've looked at it. I've seen how much fuel's there. Our rail pressure solid, 29,000, 28,500. I'm happy. But is there something underneath that hood that is robbing us of horsepower? So guys, if I'm up here, what am I doing? We're doing an old faithful boost test. Why do we boost test it? Well, unfortunately the truck's making power, but the truck's not making big numbers. It's making pretty good torque. So what we're gonna do is we've got a puck in the intake. I'm gonna feed it full of air. We're gonna listen for a leak because it takes air and it takes fuel to make power. You know we got fuel, we're seeing it, but we're not making big boosts. So now let's plug this dude in, listen for a leak. Okay guys, so what am I doing? I am air, I am pressurizing the system. I've got a boot in there. It's as simple as this. It takes air and it takes fuel to make power. So when I'm inducing air into the turbocharger system, it's right here. I'm putting air into it. Over here is the engine gonna eat it up. We've got air going here to here. We're blocking it off. If we have a leak between the two points, and guess what? We're gonna hear this massive leak. Unfortunately, we didn't hear a massive leak. So it's up to this. It's up for the turbocharger and the fuel to come together and to make power. What we're gonna do is we're gonna load the dyno a little bit different. We're gonna try to get that boost pressure to really come in down low, and so therefore it can mix with the fuel and make some power. Cause we know we've got a shitload of fuel to play with, but there's no sense of adding fuel because we need the air to clean it up. So guys, let's load it different. Let's make another pull. Done, boys. She's gonna torque it out. We got torque, but we got air. Woo! 1,000 HP. That's the goal with this S472 build. Now down to business. We're in the 600 horsepower range. It looks like we're defeated, but we do know this. We've got some rail pressure to play with. If the truck likes it, we'll add some timing to it. Not get too crazy, and. 
We'll pick up power, right? Well, absolutely. So we maintained rail pressure on that last run you guys just got to see. How much horsepower was it good for? Now let's take a look at the graph. Guys, this Hulk laid down 821 rural horsepower and 1,407 feet pound of torque. When you hit that piston with a bunch of rail pressure, shit starts getting weird and it gets weird quick. Guys, it's exactly what we wanted out of this build. I've got a similar one in the truck. Ron's gonna be doing this. He's going with a different CRC cover. I want it to make power. That's what we wanna give this climb. Now, we added fuel, we've got rail pressure, we're good to go. So now, we should be able to mimic that. We can add a little bit more fuel, we'll add timing later, 150 US. Guess what? Our horsepower should go boop through the roof. Okay, now let's check out that run. Let's go here, and we're ready. We actually lost horsepower. What the hell happened? Well, look at the torque. 1,465 feet pound on 35 inch tall tires. The Hulk is putting it down, but here's what's taking place. We know it's hot, we know it's humid. We've got every excuse in the world, but here's what's logical. We added more fuel to the truck. We're working harder. Of course, the torque is gonna come up because we've got fuel to fire the flame, but we need the CF film of air to come into the engine and to burn up that fuel to make the horsepower along the run and that's just not happening. Long story short, for this Mustang Dino on the S472, on that particular build, we are out of air and we are not going to keep pushing, beating up the truck over 10 or 20 horsepower. This is exactly what it done. Now, how does this thing drive? Well, if Garrett was here, the owner of the truck, he would probably agree with me. This is one hell of a rig to hang on to. I took him out for a spin in this dude and let me tell you something, that .90 AR housing, because this torque comes in low, 2,900 RPMs, this mother will rock. It is fun to drive. If we were chasing that 1,000 HP, because we discussed it, what do we gotta do to get over 800, 8,900? We gotta step up to a 76, go to a bigger turbine housing. Drivability starts doing this. Every time I talk, it just goes down, 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 down because we all want to drive on an 88 millimeter turbocharger. That's just not practical. Garrett's truck, you can hop in it, you can burn the tires off of it if you need to tow with it, cool. But ultimately, he specced out a truck perfectly. I wouldn't change anything about it. I'd hop in it and drive it. Just that Mustang Dino, you know, there's just a couple things I'd say to you. But guys, internet says what it says, but on today's Point Blank Performance YouTube channel, we laid down 821 rural horsepower, and that is it. Guys, I wanna clear one thing up. What did it take for me to make 900 rural horsepower on that Mustang Dino? My 12 model took an 80 millimeter turbocharger with 250% over injectors just to hit 900. What did it take for me to get to 1,000? It took a pretty cool day and it took an 88 millimeter turbocharger to get over that 1000 HP. I wanted to clear that up because that 1000 horsepower ain't shit thing, it's kind of a big serious deal around here. And today we're reinforcing that. All respect towards this build. This is one bad son of a bitch. I've drove it and it's awesome guys. Tickles my fancy. Real, real. <laughs> This dyno ain't no joke, and that's our thing, guys, is this. This is a very respectable build. I've driven this truck, it is badass. It is putting torque down. I am super happy. Where it landed on horsepower and torque, honestly, doesn't matter what it's like outside, is right on the money, and we're happy with this truck. So guys, I wanna bring this opportunity to you. I've heard a lot of people on the interwebs, on the YouTubes, on the Instagram, Snapchats, TikToks, all that, you can take an S472, you can take 100 over injectors, a 12 mil pump, that truck will make 1,000 horsepower. I'm not calling BS, but I am calling you out for this. You get to come out to Point Blank Performance. If you have this identical build with 35 inch tall tires, this is your time to shine, guys. We're gonna hook you up with a shirt, I'm gonna pat you on the back, I'm gonna come out here and do some manual labor. I'm gonna strap it down on the Mustang Dyno. I'm going to operate it, I'm gonna load it the exact same, and you're gonna show me how your truck makes 1,000 horsepower. All you gotta do, shoot us a call at the shop, say, yo, I've got that build, I'm coming out, and by God, I wanna see it.
Guys, we appreciate the opportunity for Mr. Garrett on this truck. This is one badass rig. No disrespect towards this at all. I am so thankful to have it and appreciate this build. So that way we have some solid concrete numbers. If you own a Cummins, make for sure, drop us a comment what you've made on your 472. We want to hear from you. Like, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and we'll see you next time here at Point Blank Performance.